for them, it's a must win for KCC, for Vipers. They can afford to lose this one. The last time these two engaged in uh, a game, it was at the St. Mary Stadium in Chitende. And everybody who does remember that particular game knows it was end-to-end -end action. So, so I'm sure he's also sharing a lot of sentiments in this game. Well, the setup is done and all the pre-match rituals and excitements are over. It's kickoff right here at the MTN Philip Omondi Stadium. We really where... tested the young goalkeeper. Ball whipped in! And it's the start KCC was looking for. The boss character strikes first. I told and you. as he is the norm in big games, Dennis Iguma shows up here. Trademark header. Put that into the back of the net. There was little that could be done in KCC and Lukoko on fire. Game on. KCC won. Vipers nil. This is what they needed. I told you I was just warning Dennis Chigundu to be on the line because this and if it had been an out swinger, there would be no chance for Guma getting to that ball. But this was a brilliant play from KCC, intelligent execution coming from um, Ashraf Mugume and the finish by Dennis Guma. This is what you need from your leader and this is what you need when you're chasing a team like Vipers. Put them on the back foot, score fast, put them under pressure and uh, for KCC, this is what they need for confidence. Extremely potent at this kind of uh, distance. And a couple of bodies also going into that box area, so options in case he doesn't meet his mark. And he goes hard and low, and the goalkeeper keeps it out here. Milton Carissa resting fast to it. Did he? Um, cheap of him, I just don't think he needed to let that ball go out. He needed to keep the ball alive. I thought that's why they would have stretched KCC more. Looking to carve out space, gets into the box area, feeds it to Milton Carissa, crosses in, and the goalkeeper, Benjamin Ochan. Right place, right time, right decision. How they struggle to pass and move the ball, something that used to be synonymous with them. I don't know if it's because it's something that they've not been doing. Possession, Happy Anaku, feeding it back to Rogers Mato, back on his feet, tries to cross the ball. Not the quail intended target, too much Wega, crossing again. This time, Halid Luwani, the captain for Vipers, averts the danger. The threat still imminent, setting it on. Nice touch, looking for the one, two, floating it in. And Brian Ahemwab going for the spectacular. That would have been a goal for the ages. That would have been the highlight reel. Ooh la la. Yeah, that's the one opportunity that your brain can hit the back of the net because you just want to reminisce on it. But that was brilliant technique from Brian Ahewa. And how unfortunate that he didn't hit the back of the net, even for any neutral. From uh, his opposite number, shot three. And now to the Emperor, Manzoki. Setting it in for Yiga. Bobosi teases and sends it to the wing. The fans were already cheering. Goal crossed in! Goalkeeper! Benjamin Ochan flings in that goalkeeping area. But today, the day, incidentally, he's had more balls to pick in his area than Sigundu has since he considered. Here comes Dissan Galiwango looking to throw out another one at him and test him. And the hitman, Yunus Junior Sentamo, is in the spell. Crosses the pole, looking for Caesar! The Emperor! Caesar Mansuki! I saw that coming. Try as they can! In that central defense, who's pathetic? Just look at that marking. How can the man with just get that kind of free header when there's Peter Magambo, when there is off down they better. should have pressed there, you can see the that. Cross, Peter Magambo should have locked down better, there's hardly much, Benjamin Ochan could be coming close to him. How about a chai now, tries to whip in across, miscued clearance, Zadata Naku, My and word. he flops it! The player literally you'd want in that position, the chance you literally would want him to have. The finish, you dread him to put together. My word, I can't believe that he just missed that. And um, this is why you, f you feel for the coaches there, because what do you want the coach to do in this kind of incident where a player has got a very good opportunity and he decides to fluff the lines? Kessis here going to rule this one, I can tell you, but that defending by uh, Livingstone Mulondo, he wins the ball. That was so many as a chance comes up in here and into the box area, player goes down. And referee says, Vipers have got to watch out the way they are defending because letting the matter run in behind it, they can um, find themselves in a bit of spot of bother. You look at that, that could easily be a penalty. I don't see why that is not a penalty because you look at that ooh, pressure that ooh, is coming in from uh, Siraji. That was a double stunning, but the game does continue. Sadat, Happy and Aku, Brian Ahewa. There's an opening. Ahewa decides to go for the spectacular alone. The referee points to the corner. Ay shuffles his way through, taking on the pack to Brian Ahewa. Nice flick on. Achai gets to the ball. Ahewa is in this. And here comes Mukume. Turns one way. Looks for the bender. 
and sends it over. He was off balance, Jermaine. There was no way he could get that ball a struck on, on target like he might have wanted. You see that he was really rushing, but that was good play from KCC in opening up uh, Vipers. That's not something that we've seen them do quite often this season, but you can see that um, they've done a pretty good job there. In that moment, right there. Probably should have set up a hair one. That was there. In that moment, right there. Probably should have set up a hair one. That was KCC personified. That was spread out onto the wing. Here comes Hassan Jerua. Looks like he wants to pull the trigger from distance. What it up? Lifts a long ball into the eighteen yard box. Brushed off a chance! And Milton Carissa! Milton Carissa gets in! Scores goal number two and puts Robert KCC fall fully to the same mistake. Well, I think you can see it's about the reaction. And it's a, somebody just switched off and he went on with the run and just did the simple thing, just not the ball. He hasn't done so much in this game, Milton Carissa. We felt that um, he was playing so much on and off, start, stop, and losing quite a number of balls. But the energy levels and his commitments and that happy Anaku. Anaku to Achai. Achai crosses the ball in, punched away. Almost taking out his own captain, <laughs> but uh, quite the marvel. Long ball in, hits the upright. That was the whistle they were waiting for. This is the moment they have.